Twos, welcome back to our art lessons for week eight. Today we are going to be continuing on with our paper mache. This is the last week that we're going to be working with our paper mache hot air balloon. And what we're going to be doing today is adding some string to attach a basket or a container or a box to the bottom for our little people to sit in as they go around in their hot air balloon. And we're also going to be attaching a string to the top of our hot air balloon so that we can hang it. If you did not do our paper mache task, not a problem. Just head over to our other link in your seesaw activity and you can do our other task for today. Maybe you can do some paper mache on the holidays or on the weekend when it's more convenient for you. So all you're going to be needing this week is your completed hot air balloon, which is now all painted. Um, if you haven't finished um, painting your hot air balloon, that's okay. Keep going with that this week. Work at your own pace. You will also need a cup or a container or a box, something to um, hang from the bottom of your hot air balloon. I'm using the paper mache cup that I was making with the preps. That was their task to make a paper mache cup. You'll also need some string, some scissors, and a hole punch if you have it. If you don't have a hole punch, that's okay. You can ask a, an adult to help you poke some holes in your hot air balloon. And you will also need a little twig. You can see mine's very little um, and you'll see why we need that in just a moment. Alrighty, now what we need to do is poke a hole in the top of our hot air balloon. So I don't want anyone trying to do this themselves. This is where you need to get an adult to help you out. And what you're going to do is use your scissors to just very carefully poke a little hole in the top of your hot air balloon like you can see there. So ask an adult to help you out with that step because we don't want to hurt ourselves. Then what we need to do is take our string or twine or wool or whatever you're using, pull out a length and it needs to be just over double however high you want to hang your balloon. So I think I won't need too much more than that, but you can see that I've doubled that loop over. You can see that, All right? I cut off the string there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot using the two ends that have been cut. I'm going to tie a knot around my twig. So I loop it over and then I poke my ends through and you want that to sit in the middle of your twig. See that? And then I'm going to do that again just so that I've got a double knot and it's nice and firm. Alrighty, lovely. Then what I might like to do is tie a knot at the other end, just below the loop. So you might like to just put a little knot in the string below the loop. This is what we're going to use to hang our hot air balloon, but that's up to you. Then what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully poke our string through the inside of our balloon so that it comes out the other end. And that twig is going to stop our string pulling all the way through. Alrighty, let's have a look at that. So, you can see that's how my hot air balloon is going to hang. And I might put a knot now in the top. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty, then what we need to do is put four holes in the bottom of our hot air balloon so that we can suspend four pieces of string which will then attach to our cup. So using either your scissors or your hole punch, I'll show you two of each, you're going to poke some holes not too close to the edge. Remember this is still paper, it can still rip, so we want to have it about two centimetres or about an inch away from the edge. So one there we go. And then I'm going to do one on the exact opposite side. So 
I've got my finger on the first hole, the opposite is down here. Lovely. So there we go. Now I'll show you with the scissors. So being very careful, ask an adult to help you out with this step. We are going to, not too close to the edge remember, very carefully twist our scissors through the paper very slowly. You don't want to rip a hole in your hot air balloon. Create a hole. So you can see that there. And then on the other side as well. So not too close to the edge. You can see I'm giving, I'm leaving lots of space. Twist my scissors around so that I make a hole. So there you go, using either your hole punch or your scissors. Next what we need to do is get our string again and we need four pieces of string that are the same size. So I'm going to pull out maybe a length of string that's about oh, 25 centimetres or so. And then I'm going to measure three more pieces of string that, that are the same length. So Four pieces of string that are all the same length. Now I'm done with my string. Right, now, we need to poke some holes into our cup or container or whatever it is we are using. So if you are using a basket, um, make sure that you check that you are able to poke some holes in it. If you're using anything that is not disposable or that you weren't going to throw out, you need to double check that you can put holes in it and that you are allowed to put holes in it. This is just a paper mache task, so I'm going to clip one, two, three. Remember to get help if you are using scissors for this part. One, two, three, four holes. What we now need to do is tie our string to each of these holes. Right, I've got one two, three, four pieces of string that are going to attach to one, two, three, four holes in my hot air balloon. So now what we need to do is very carefully tie those ends of the string to our hot air balloon holes. Massive congratulations to everyone who has created a hot air balloon. If your strings are too long, you can always tie them a little bit shorter. Hang it up somewhere, show me a photo of where you've hung up your hot air balloon. You can always make another one that's a bit smaller. You can make a group of hot air balloons over the holidays. You can make some different coloured ones. You can also jump onto the YouTube videos and in the suggested video column there should be some of my other paper mache tasks that I assigned to the other grades. They've all been made public and they are all up there to stay until at least the end of the year. So if you would like to do any of the other paper mache tasks during these holidays or during the summer holidays, go ahead, have some fun and I hope everyone has enjoyed. I'll see everyone next week.